So these are properties of congruence. Oh boy. Now remember, whenever you see the word congruence, you got to think same. So you guys ready for this? Yeah, it's going to be a lot. So we should flip the page. Flip the page for sure. For sure. The reflexive. This is example two. Uh, this is before example two. <laughs> so this might seem kind of silly, but what we're saying is, is that the length of line segment AB is equal to the length of line segment AB. It's congruent, actually. It's not equal. It's congruent, right? It also means that the angle A is congruent to the angle A, and we call that reflexive. Think of like a mirror and a reflection, right? If I look in the mirror, I look like Mr. Adams. So Mr. Adams equals Mr. Adams. Does that make sense? And we'll use this property a lot. But, uh, sorry, what did you guys say? Mr. Adams is handsome? That's what it sounded like up here. I can't. Exactly. Yeah. I'm losing my hearing. I'm losing my hearing as I get older, but that's what it sounded like to me. I said Mr. Adams is a handsome, wholesome thing. Yes. So now we've got symmetry or a symmetric property. And so the symmetric property looks a little different. Um, and I'm going to use some notation here. It says if line segment AB is congruent to CD, line segment CD, then CD is congruent to AB. Again, you guys will probably be thinking to yourself, duh, right? Another example of this is if angle A is congruent to angle B, then angle B is congruent to uh, angle A. Um, that's important that we define that now because we'll, you'll see when we do example number two why, the, why that's important. And then so um, the last one is transitive property of congruence. Notice that all these have a congruence symbol in them. So the transitive property of congruence goes like this. If you have a uh, line segment AB is congruent to CD and CD is congruent to EF. Well, then you can cut out the middleman and just say that AB is congruent to EF. That makes sense, right? Where do you, why do you like angles in there? Yeah, you put angles in the line for EF. Oh, why did, oh, you're right. Because I'm going to do the same thing with angles in a second. Good catch, though, girls. Uh, this should be uh, a line segment. So, same thing. Angle A is congruent to angle B. And uh, angle B is congruent to angle C then we should be able to state that angle A is congruent to angle C. So we could kind of just cut out the middle man, right? But that's for transitive? That's transitive, yep. So you can cut out. Oh, so for the congruence, you did one for a line segment, and then you did one for a... Yeah, the properties are the same, but they, 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 you can have congruent line segments, and you can have congruent angles. Really, when you think about what an angle is, an angle are two line segments, and it has an arc distance between the two line segments. So the property would apply to angles as well as the lengths of the uh, line segments. Okay? Any questions on that? Um, for, the, like, for when you do... Oh, wait. Okay. So I have a question here. So mm -hmm. you're just doing this for the line segments, and then there's a new one that starts with the same. Right. Okay, right. I thought you were saying like them. Then this, together. this, this, this. Yeah. No. And I was confused. All right. So let's uh, let's do a few examples for example number two. 
So you can see how these properties work. So for example number two, um, what we're going to do is we're going to say t uh, 2x plus 9 equals 19. Okay? And so now we're going to solve some things using these properties of equality. And then I'm going to do a similar thing and show how they're related. Right? Equality and congruence are similar. Right? Congruence means that the measures have the same numerical value, but then also we can define shapes as being congruent. Right? So it's the measures and angles. Right? So what I mean by that is, is like, well, let me explain this. I can have a line segment that's three units, and I can have a line segment that's four units and make an angle with that. I could take those same lengths and make a different angle. Right? So if I were to talk to you guys about the length of the lines, they'd be the same lengths, but the angle would be different. So congruence means that they have the same angle and same length when we're, with, with regards to what we're talking about today. Equals usually just refers to, like an equal sign refers to the numerical value being the same. So here, what I'm saying is 2, plus, two times x plus 9 is equal to 19. I'm talking about a numerical value on the left hand side is equal to the stuff on the right hand side. And I use an equal sign to, to show that. So that means because I have an equal sign, I'm probably going to use properties of equality, right? Because it's an equal sign. So there's, a, there's the first clue which property to use, right? And so mathematically what I do is I subtract 9 from both sides. What property of equality did I just use? Subtract. Subtraction, right? So then uh, that leaves me with uh, 2x is equal to 10. So now what do I do? Divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. That's the property of what? Division. Division. And so these cancel, and I get x is equal to 5. Boom. That's not that hard, right? Well, now. Well, man, with the biggest. Yes. So, for the uh, property of equality, it uses equal signs, and then the other one uses. Three. Yeah, so watch this. Still example two, so that's part A. Here's example two, part B. Okay. So, now watch this. This is where it gets a little different. I say that the angle O is congruent to the angle W. And the angle W is congruent to the angle L. What can I conclude from that? Yes? Which is the transient. Very good. So this is angle O is congruent to angle L, and we use the transitive property. But it wasn't just, we, remember, we have two transitive properties. This is, this is the transitive property of congruence. Why? Well, the first clue was is that I don't have an equal sign. I have a congruent symbol, right? So that's the equal sign with the tilde over it. 